Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have sparked fury over their pride post on Instagram as fans criticize the couple for going against royal protocol, accusing the pair of endorsing political beliefs. The Duke and Duchess are supporting the LGBTQ community on social media this month as June is LGBT Pride Month. They have followed 11 accounts including the Elton John AIDS Foundation, Pride and the Trevor Project, which provides crisis intervention and suicide prevention services to LBTAT plus youth. The couple also posted a collection of photographs from the accounts they now follow, with a caption that said, Continuing with our tradition to rotate the accounts we follow based on causes and social issues that matter to us, for the month of June we proudly shine a light on Pride. This month we may tribute to the accounts supporting the LGBTQ plus community, those young and old, their family friends, accounts that reflect on the past and are hopeful for a deservedly more inclusive future. We stand with you and support you. Because it is very simple, love is love. But some of their followers were not impressed with their support for Pride. Callis Wainston wrote, What happened to the royal family doesn't endorse political beliefs slash controversy beliefs one way or the other? Killy Rosa Fabian said, Why so many US-based organizations? As members of the royal family, I would think you would try and highlight UK charities, and maybe ones that don't already get a ton of press and support. But Tom Daly, a British Olympic bronze medalist diver who welcomed son Robbie with his husband Dustin Lance Black last year, said, This is just awesome. Miss Curtin Swirl added, Princess Diana would be so proud. It gets better, a organization highlighted by Meghan and Harry this month, said, Thank you so much for your support of LGBTQ plus youth. Happy Pride Month. The couple's Instagram post also featured a picture of Harry's late mother Princess Diana, who helped break down the stigma around HIV and AIDS before she died in 1997. The photo was taken when she met patient Gerard McGrath at HIV and AIDS Hospice London Lighthouse in 1996. Discussing the visit in 2017, Mr. McGrath said, when she came in, she was shining, 